right, so today we're gonna go ahead and get started with breakfast. I have already gone ahead and gotten the bacon started. Typically, when I cook bacon, I like to cook the whole pack at once and then separate it. I don't cook it all the way in case we need to reheat it because we're always on the go and looking to move real fast. So I cook the entire pack of bacon. I really don't have a specific type of bacon that I use. Honestly, I probably use a different bacon every time I cook. I eat pork, I eat turkey. Um, I don't think I've had beef before, but yeah, this is me cooking up the breakfast. Um, I think I'm going to make some. All right, there is some of the bacon that is done. How do you guys like your bacon? I like mine kind of medium, not too light, not too dark. Um, but sometimes I don't really cook it that much because like I said, we reheat it in the microwave. So this is some more bacon in here cooking. This is one of those copper skillets. I have a question. What skillet, what pots and pans do you guys use? Cause I get so frustrated when I buy all these pots and pans and they say, oh, it never sticks, never, ever, ever will stick. And then you get it and it turns around and sticks. Like this skillet to me, it actually sucks. Um, so I just use it primarily to cook bacon. So drop down below and let me know what's a good brand of pots because I'm actually in the market shopping for some new pots and skillets because I'm over this one. Um, so I will be back once we get this bacon done so stay tuned all right so the bacon is done this is the entire pack this is just some cheap bacon that i let me focus in that i picked up at bj's but that is done so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this french toast i'm hungry i'm trying not to eat anything um, and I want some coffee, but I'm trying to do something different because when I drink coffee, it tends to curb my appetite. So I'm going to try to eat my breakfast, wait 30 to 45 minutes, and then have some coffee and see how that goes. So I am about to go ahead and get started on the French toast mix. For this, I don't have any exact measurements that I use. I have been doing this for a long time. My mom, this is my favorite meal my mom's make, my mom makes me. Um, she's made it ever since I was a kid, but basically. So I use about a half a cup of almond milk, whatever almond milk of your, your choice. This is, this is my way of kind of making this meal more keto friendly, so to speak. The bread and y'all forgive me because I am using my new camera and I don't really know how to work it but um I have the solar bread I get this at Walmart it's two net carbs um this is the golden wheat one two net carbs um so it's only me and my daughter that's eating so we might have two pieces a piece I use pure vanilla ash I use a little bit of cinnamon and I have two eggs that's all I use in my French toast batter so it probably will be more than enough batter for the meals I'm going to make so I'm going to save save some of this mixture for probably tomorrow's breakfast there you go so I put about a tablespoon of two um, in here and this is the unsalted kind of butter that I'm using I just grabbed this at Walmart yesterday too. So yeah, this is my, I have a grill, um, a stove top grill, but this is just more convenient for me to use right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit that on there while I finish making the rest of the mixture. I love that Kerrygold butter. Let me try to move back some so I can focus in. Or do I need to move up some? All 
All right, so, so far I put the milk and I put the cinnamon. I'm going to crack the two eggs. Some people like to put sugar in their mixture. I find it unnecessary in my opinion. Yes. I love vanilla, so. I put about, about a tablespoon of vanilla in there. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. The butter. The butter is now melted. Let me just kind of spread it around everywhere. Drop down below, let me know how you guys make your French toast. I know everybody has a, a different method, but it smells so good. It smells like a cake over here. And I like mine pretty cinnamony, so. I don't submerge it in the mixture because I don't like mine all sliding and wet. And this is what the bread looks like in case you've never seen. It's not a big slice, but it's two net carbs um, per each one. And I just kind of lightly dip it in the mixture and kind of just shake off all the excess and then put it down, I'm turning the eye up just a little bit. My daughter's been begging me for bread, so I just kind of picked this up yesterday. She's been eating those little quick breakfasts and I think she's tired. She's over them because she's not used to that. She's used to me making real food. All right, so the French toast is in there. That is actually all of the pieces I'm going to make right now we are going to i like cinnamon y'all so dump a little extra cinnamon on there and when i flip it i'm going to put some more cinnamon so i'm just going to let this brown and cook it doesn't i put way too much that time that's what i get um but i'm just going to go ahead and let the french toast cook it's looking good already like I said, French toast is one of my favorite breakfasts. I hate I can't eat as much bread as I used to eat, but this keto bread kind of helps out. Honestly, I'll probably eat like one and a half um, French toast and then like maybe two pieces of bacon, but I'm gonna let these go ahead and cook and we will be back. It's looking good. It's not burnt, y'all. That's just the cinnamon browning. Almost done. It is looking good. I hope y'all can see it. We almost done here. It's looking good, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Because I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. Sugar free I 
know if you can see it. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Anywho, it's sugar-free heavy whipped cream. So I'm going to sprinkle a little. Actually, I also have two strawberries I cut up. One for me, one for my daughter. Um, they were pretty large, so I just cut them up like this because we're going to have some strawberry French toast. And I probably won't eat half of this. Um, and like I said, a piece of bacon is on here for my dog. But here is the sugar-free syrup. And that is my breakfast. Here's the sugar-free sugar -free syrup. And I'm going to make my daughter's plate. And we are going to have breakfast. Of course, my daughter goes for the meat portion first because she is a meat eater. And I have lost a piece. I don't know what, I need some new dishes too. I need some bigger dishes. I have to put a separate piece of bacon on my plate for my dog because he will eat all your food up. Restaurant food, like we don't need no restaurant. This is like restaurant quality food. It took me all of maybe 30 minutes, not even really 30 because I cooked the whole pack of bacon. We're not even eating a whole pack of bacon. That was the longest part. This was a simple breakfast. It's keto friendly. And my daughter loves it. two and a half pieces of bacon as you can see they are almost gone she only has water for a drink because we have enough carbs going on with the strawberries the bread whipping cream and so on so all she's drinking is water i love water she does love water thank goodness a lot of kids don't like water but she does and then we have el greedy mode down the chick-fil-a we are going to we skipped out on lunch since We've been out running errands, getting last minute Mother's Day gifts. We normally don't go inside, but what the hey? Tomorrow they close. Yeah, and I need to go to Chick-fil-A when I'm craving Chick-fil-A on Saturdays because I always seem to crave it on when Sundays. Alright, so we are at Chick-fil-A. We are outside because apparently the inside is closed. The one time we decide we're going to go inside, um, it is closed. So we have ordered a low-carb slash keto-friendly meal. So I will show you that once it comes out. Like I said, we um, we were going to do lunch at home, but I still have some more stops. So I don't want to go home and eat and come back out because then I won't feel like coming back out and um, let mommy have some hand sanitizer. Um, my daughter has this cute little hand sanitizer thing. Her friend got her. It smells like, I think she said a strawberry pound cake or something. Did you put some on your hand? 
So we are just waiting on the food to come out. Cause I'm hungry. Yep, as usual, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's like every time I make a video, I'm hungry. Guys, my daughter's getting impatient cause she is hungry. So I have Texas tea hot sauce, real chicken nuggets. Again, they didn't have the buffalo sauce. So I'm gonna try to saturate the chicken nuggets as much as possible cause it's not a lot of low carb she options at Chick fil A, so you gotta kinda cre create and make your own. And of course, the Texas Pete hot sauce don't taste as good as the buffalo. Um, but I done seen a couple of people come up here because they done messed their order up today, so they got a now hiring sign out here. I don't know if they short staffed or, or what. But yeah, I normally get like a a six piece nugget but this one me and my daughter is gonna share so i did a 12 piece nugget and then instead of fries i got a side salad and then so yeah the sauce is in there and you just shake it up i should have just put this one last sauce on there so it basically turns it into like buffalo chicken <laughs> So guys, those are things I'm trying to give him a bath and he won't so get So as you can see, this and is what it's, it's looking like. So now I have grilled buffalo chicken. I'm mad they didn't have my buffalo sauce, but I mean all the other sauces, you, the only other sauce you can really eat low carb is the ranch, the Polynesian is sweet, um, the honey mustard got sugar, so you're kind of limited, but you can do hot sauce. So. So yeah, I'm shaking it up. It's, it's basically going to be a buffalo chicken salad. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. And like I said, we're splitting this. So this is their salad. It has tomatoes, cheese, lettuce. And you could do this at home as well. Um, Guys, listen to what it I'm just gonna kind of dump, dump some of the chicken off over here. So voila, <laughs> buffalo. Oh, I didn't drop my damn chicken. <laughs> Can't even eat it. Damn it. <laughs> um, and then I have ranch dressing to go on top. So yeah, this is. Um, I forgot where I saw how to do this at, but it's it's short and it's simple. I just hate I had to improvise like this because I would order it in the car, but this is not really like one of those meals that you can kind of order in the car. And as you know, Chick-fil-A is busy and since the first guy like took my order, clocked out and went home, I've been sitting here a little longer than I wanted to. Does but it's all good. I'm hangry, so I'm trying not to. And then I'm going to divide this between me and my daughter. So here is my bite. It looks so good. What are you doing sitting there looking all cute, little girl? And she loves salad too, so. Let the pork go. She makes a mess with any everything, but yeah, that's a quick, simple, low carb meal, Chick Fil A. Let me know what do you order when you go to Chick Fil A. Drop that down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating because I'm getting hangry. I see y'all later. Here's the video right here. It's super scary. Listen to all in the video too, guys. Click the link in the bio right there. You guys, I just woke up. I'm sorry. All right, so we are just about to head out of Chick Fil A. We're sitting here at this little patio table outside. I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't my best Chick-fil-A experience, but it is what it is, because I didn't end up having to pay for my food since they messed up. I have um, my little one, she's just finishing up. I think she gets more salad on the table than in her mouth. Um, but she's almost done, and then we have a couple more errands to run. I'm just really, um, I'm not really feeling myself today because I had my second coronavirus shot yesterday so I'm a little sore like one minute my head feels like it's gonna hurt my arm where they did the shot is definitely um, 
it's definitely hurting and sore. And then at one point while we were walking earlier, my legs started feeling like spaghetti noodles. So I'm ready to get done running these errands so I could go home and relax for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so that's what we're about to do. We're about to hit Best Buy. I'm looking for me a good pressure cooker um, so I can cook Mother's Day dinner. We will see you guys. In the dark, we are nothing more than dice. Search for you.